Leo, <clears throat> Grand Rising, welcome to Healing Hype Man. My name is Alvin. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back, Soul Fam. I love you guys. Um, I do daily messages, positive words of affirmation, and empowering readings on Instagram daily. So check me out over there if you're seeing this on YouTube. Um, and if you're on Instagram, check me out over on YouTube. I'm trying to put the longer stuff over here. You know, I really don't do a lot of monthlies or zodiac sign readings. They do take a lot of energy, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of energy, so I'm not in my comfort zone right now. So I want you to tell me, one, what you think, and two, um, if, it, if it works for you, then I can put out more, right? Um, very authentic reader, intuitive tarot reader here. And this is going to be a relationship reading for Leo. Uh, first spread is going to be if you're in a relationship or you're dealing with someone or you're about to date them, you've already created a connection. Doesn't mean you have, you're have you going out with them or you've been with them before. You've just created a connection because the first two cards are gonna be about the core of the relationship. So if you're in a relationship or you wanna be in a relationship with somebody or somebody you want to make an attempt on that you have a connection with. And I'll timestamp it. And if you're single, completely single, batshit single, then we'll do a uh, past, present, future for you, like a personal little past, present, future spread and who's coming towards you. I will timestamp that below. Let's dive in uh, to the core of this relationship. The core of this relationship, Ten of Pentacles and Three of Wands. This is stable, moving forward on something stable here. The core of this relationship is like solid and you're moving forward on it. Where their head is at, where their heart is at, what they are showing you, where your head is at, where your heart is at, what you are showing them. I love this right now. Okay, they, right, the person you're dealing with, Leo, their head is a little bit indecisive right now. They're a little bit scattered. They're in and out. Um, they're fighting. They're, they're on the journey. They're going on the journey. And they're figuring this out. And, and as I see the rest of the spread, they are still trying to see something in this. Um, doesn't mean they're not engaged. They are just not at the level that you're at because I can see that, right? So the person you're engaging with or you want to engage with is just a little bit indecisive, a little bit scatterbrained, um, trying to find the passion from it. So maybe that's, from what I'm looking at, you're being very brave and you're being very courageous, but in their mind, you might need to, there needs to be some love here, a little bit more compassion, a little bit more love, a little bit more I love you, a little bit more like I like you, a little bit more soft and sensitive. There's no cups here. Right? Their heart space is exploring. They are taking a chance here and exploring this this opportunity or this relationship that they're in. They're in it, even though they don't not quite sure about it. They're in it because they want their heart to be exposed to, to more. They're open to they're opening their heart to exploring uh, what this relationship potentially can bring. What they are showing you, they're they're probably being really slow about things or or um, just kind of going about things very lightly and I see why because they're, they're not quite sure in their headspace and and they're just they're just exploring their heart so you know they're not there's no stability there there's nothing solid doesn't mean they're not solid what I'm saying is that they don't have a clear understanding of this relationship which is why they're showing you very little and they're taking their time with it uh, maybe because they see things later on maybe there's some healing that needs to be done there or just some seek to understand but you know it's starting off because like it was a big bang it was a good bang it started off very very well and now they're like okay well it started off very well so let me keep going with this and that's what they're doing they're going with it just at a slower pace leo where your head is at you see the big picture behind it you already know that this is going to be something big you're being courageous you're being joyful you're in control of the situation uh, which means maybe they might like that, which is probably why they're still in here like figuring things out because they like that you're in control of it and you see the creative side to it. A lot of fire, very great sexual vibe here. I'm getting a lot of sexual energy, very, very solid. Uh, they're open, they're, their heart is open to sexuality. Their mind is open to sexuality. Your head is open to sexuality. You started off probably being very sexually active and stable. Your heart space is being very vulnerable. You're being very honest, truthful, and you're being authentic. I love that. I, I can't get any more better than that. Uh, you're being very authentic. You're being brave. You're being courageous. You're being vulnerable. You are portraying your true self, your true authentic self. And I like that. And what you're showing them, 444, is this is something that you can, that you're planting the seeds for the long term. This is something that you are showing them like stability. You're showing them growth. You're like, this is a seed that me and you can plant that can go into something big. But to be honest, the core of this relationship is already big, so 
again, they might just need a little bit more love, a little bit more emotion behind it. Uh, I'd say same for you. I think both ways. There just needs to be a little bit more rom romance. Throw some romance into this, and I bet you, you will see it thrive. Let's pull some oracle messages here. Date. Get back out there, plan, set a date. Okay, we're talking about this relationship. Take them out on a date. Be romantic. Sweep them off their feet. Mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflex, introspection. You guys are mirroring something here. Maybe you're still together because you guys see something in each other and you very well could be learning things off of each other, right? Be a little bit more compassionate to their, where they're coming from in their past. Seek to understand their past, their triggers, their traumas, their wants, their needs, their desires. And then you're already doing that. You're showing them your true self, but they might need some help here with mirror and, and just kind of showing them, right? You're, but also you being so solid and stable and you, you attracted this person then there's something in them that is also in you, right? Look at that. And I, I see why they're attracted to you because they like what you have. They're like, oh my God, I want that. Maybe they've had this before, the solid st stability that you have, Leo. Then maybe they had that and they see that and maybe you might be the one that pulls that out of them. Like you do have it, you can be a great person again. Maybe they were in something that was very flaky not dealing with hurt, avoiding a conversation, it could be boundaries, someone still could be angry here, right? So there's conversations that need to be had here. Some Maybe some this person that you're dealing with very well can still be holding on to some pain and some hurt and, um, and they find comfort in you because you're being so vulnerable, which is very, very sweet. Let's pull some advice here from the angels. Forgiveness. Maybe understanding the forgiveness. Maybe there's someone here you need to forgive or they need to forgive or or something here that might have happened that you need to forgive. Maybe, or, they're in a very l lower vibe than you. So is there something you did that, they, that, that brought them down to this low level or is there something that they did that they feel like they're not worthy of you and they have to fight? The, there's two knights here that they're kind of like battling, that they're on a journey. You kind of know how that forgiveness card sits with you. Ask your angels and be assertive. Be assertive when it comes to your wants, needs, and desires. Be assertive when it comes to what it is that you would like. And maybe they'll see that and they'll be assertive as well. They both might need to be a little bit assertive. Let's pull a hype man card here for my own personal deck. I ain't about that life. Right? There's certain aspects of your life that you're not no longer wanting. Maybe that might be what you need to be assertive about. I don't like this. I don't want this. It's not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. Living, living for you, sis. Right? They, one, living for you is like... I like what you have. I'm living for you. You're living your best life. You're doing what you got to do, man. You're like you're you're up there. I see it. I see you living for you. Uh, and I'm doing readings for self, so I'm living for you. I like the vibe that you're in. Um, and maybe your partner needs some of that. Let the rocky boat sail solo. If this is a rocky situation and this is this is weird, I would let it go. Let it go by itself. You know, maybe it's something you don't want to attach yourself to. You don't want to diminish your very strong power. This is very strong power you have, right? If that's too much to handle, right? Maybe there might be some separation that needs to take place. Again, you'll kind of know how that works. Let that rocky boat sail solo. Maybe there's things that you need to let go. Maybe there's things that they need to let go that they're still lingering on and it's and it's not and it's and it's affecting the relationship. You kind of know how that works best. Let's get into the singles. Before I do that, I got this awesome necklace, Safe Stones, on Instagram. This is a black tourmaline on a gold choker. And I got this really cool one uh, on a safety pin. Black tourmaline as well. They have all different kinds of stones. They're called Safe Stones, so check them out on Instagram. I'll put their link in the information box. But I think it's really cool modern day crystal jewelry. That is definitely on my A-list. Let's get into the singles. Singles. Let's do a past, present, future spread just for you. I'm not talking about your past relationships. I'm talking about you. In the past, you held a lot of weight, Leo. You held on to a lot, a lot of baggage in the past. Your present energy. You're moving forward. On you're putting plans in place to change your life. 
right? Coming probably from the space of you had a lot of weight, carrying a lot of baggage. Um, Leo, you're definitely in a vibe of, of I'm, I'm supporting what's right in front of me and I'm going to move forward on things that are in front of me and I'm going to leave whatever's behind me in the past. I no longer want any of that, that behind me. I don't want any of that to move forward with me. So I'm going to look, I'm going to look forward and I'm going to focus on what's right in front of me and your future. You are definitely, this is either getting an offer or you are giving an offer, right? You're focusing on yourself here. You're focusing on what fills your cup up. And to be honest, you will achieve that goal with the, with the ace of cups here. Definitely will have enough to overflow. And it's also telling me that someone could be offering you something. Someone can be offering you love because they're seeing that you put that you put effort onto yourself. What's right in front of you. You took control over what's in front of you. You put plans in place. You made moves. You did a lot of things. Coming from a space where you carried so much weight, so much baggage, probably wasn't even yours. or just a lot of heaviness. Right, who's coming towards you? Ace of Swords to Judgment and the Knight of Wands. Um... It, um, mm, I don't see a person. I do. Um, Knight of Wands could be um, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Another fire sign. Uh, but it'll be pretty clear. It'll be pretty clear. Like It'll be like, oh shit, this is my person. Oh shit, I like this person. Uh, they might be like a little bit back and forth. Maybe. Uh, might not be. But they might be like all over the place. And you're like, oh shit, I want that person. That's how you know that's, that's, that's the person I'm talking about here. Um, definitely like an awakening and it's pretty clear in your mind that you like them. It's pretty clear in your mind that you that you can see long-term investments with them. And there's an offer here, right? So if you're like, oh, I, I think I like that person. I want to make an offer. If they seem like someone that you clearly know that you like and at the same time they, they're, they're busy, I would say so. And three of cups at the bottom, I would say maybe they're in your, your friend circle first is really when you kind of notice them and then you kind of move forward on that. So a fellow, air, a fellow uh, fire sign, Leo. Let's pull Oracle message here for you. Time out, take some time out to yourself. Singles here, take some time out. Jackpot, when you pull back, even in moments of silence, even in moments of stillness, there's still light. Jackpot will hit you there when you take time for yourself. And psst, hey you, this means somebody's gonna tap you on the back. Hey, excuse me. Or you might tap someone on the back and be like, hey, I think we're supposed to be together. So a lot of you vibes here. Take time for yourself, focus on yourself, and then it seems like someone's gonna come your way at the end. Hey, you, someone here is trying to get your attention or you're trying to get someone else's attention, right? But you're taking the time out so you can hit that jackpot so you can present your offer. For singles, let's pull a hype man card here for you guys too. Toxic people lead to toxic behaviors. I will leave that right there. Change your mindset, it'll change your life. Absolutely. <clears throat> Cognitive behavioral therapy. Look at something that you don't like. When Joe walks through the room, it bothers me. Okay, what does it remind you of? It reminds me of being alone. Alone like what? Alone like that time that my ex left me alone on the couch. Okay, now let's heal from that. Let's let's change our mindset, right? When Joe walks in the room now, let's have positive vibes behind that so that your output is different. So that you're you don't you no longer curl up when when a strong man walks through the room or you no longer curl up when someone says that person's name. Right? Change your mindset about that thing that bothers you and then your results will be something else. Turn your feelings and thoughts into reality. Right? Write it down, put things that you want. I wanna have a happy ending, I wanna have this, I wanna have that. Put it on a piece of paper, read it to yourself. Right? Put it into physical form. Write it on gold paper, gold trim paper. It's a manifestation aspect. Um, Make your thoughts and your reality into real life. Take action. Move forward. Do it. Do what you want to do. My name is Alvin Catalan. I'm present. I'm done speaking now. Thank you very much, Leo.